She is a remarkable role model for every young person coming through WSU. She really has this uh, very interesting, unique uh, personal quality and then impact on young scientists. I've never known anyone quite like Virginia who has held such um, important and prestigious positions around the world and yet is so incredibly humble. She's just so inspiring. The Weldon B. Gibson Distinguished Volunteer Award is the premier honor granted by the Washington State University Foundation. It recognizes those whose service is measured by the highest levels of achievement. If Hoot Gibson were here today, he would certainly have been pleased and proud to see her receiving this award. Virginia Schaefer grew up on a farm in Iowa during the Great Depression. Her father passed away when she was a young girl, so she was raised by her mother and grandmother. In the 40s, Virginia's mother, Margaret, went to work on the Hanford Project, and Virginia came out west to attend Washington State College, living in Community Hall. In our junior year, we met her, and in our senior year, we became quite good friends. We were on the Independent Council together. You know, we did some studying, study groups, though. It was usually two or three people. We'd stay up all night and study, like the old, I think the kids still do now. But there was also the social aspect, like participating in the senior sneak. We went down to, uh, off the Clearwater Lake in Lewiston. Now, most of the people camped out, but Virginia and Joe and I and another girl chickened out and stayed in a motel. <laughs> so, but we did join the group the next day and spent the day with them hiking over the hills and just having a good time. Virginia graduated in 1952 with a bachelor's degree in home economics. Somehow she got this idea of becoming a foreign service officer. Virginia Schaefer worked for the U.S. State Department for 30 years. Not only was she good at what she did and represented our country well, but she did it in a time when women were not, when it was not so easy for women to be in those kinds of positions. One of her earliest assignments was as finance officer in Moscow, Russia during the Cold War. One of the things that uh, they had to put up with was if they went off the embassy grounds, they were usually not too subtly uh, followed by the KGB or somebody on that order. In the late 60s, Virginia was sent to Sydney, Australia, which she says was her most enjoyable appointment. When Nixon opened relationships with China, she was with the first group of people who were sent to open and establish the embassy in China. Um, and Virginia did that always with a look towards the future. A future that would include more places like Manila, Vienna, Bucharest, and Conakry in Western Africa. Virginia's final and most satisfying assignment was when President Ronald Reagan named her as U.S. Ambassador to Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands in 1981. After retiring in 1984, Virginia moved to Seattle and reconnected with Washington State University. She came into the fold so easily because she loves WSU and also she credits WSU for so much of what she's been able to do. I met her through the foundation. Uh, she was on the board of trustees for a number of years. She wasn't a rubber stamp trustee. She was there to find out what was going on at the university and how she as a, uh, an alumna and the trustee could help to advance the, the mission of the university by being an advocate to others. Virginia has served on a number of boards and committees throughout the university and through her generosity became a benefactor in 1997. She has supported everything from the Museum of Art and programs in the College of Agriculture, Human and Natural Resource Sciences to Cougar Athletics and the libraries. Virginia gets right to the heart of things and uh, asks us immediately what the purpose of what we're doing is. The WSU Libraries Council has had two major uh, efforts and she's been a lead gift in each one. The first one was to purchase a large format scanner. 
The digital files that it creates are being used all over the world. Among her philanthropic interests, Virginia supports faculty research and enables students to realize their own dreams. She is a strong woman who was raised by strong women. The way that I see that demonstrated in her is her lifelong support and encouragement of women, especially those who are at the beginnings of their careers. In thinking about the future, Virginia has created permanent endowments. When I mentioned her mom and honoring her mom, it was really clear that this was something that she just really had a heart for. And so she started a graduate fellowship in her mother's name, the Margaret Nicholson Schaefer Graduate Fellowship in Food Science and Human Nutrition. And then she uh, later funded another one in her own name. And then when I was doing my master's degree, um, I worked in the uh, biotechnology uh, and food science and nutrition areas. Dr. Masami Takeuchi is a former recipient of the M. Virginia Schaefer Graduate Fellowship and is now a United Nations Food Safety Officer. It really influenced my life because she was such an international person and then she has the deep understanding of totally different value systems. Tui Nguyen is a current recipient of the same fellowship. The scholarship has, has really impacted how I view my research and um, helped me push myself and try to create the same changes in the world as her previous recipients. Virginia remains active in numerous community organizations in her retirement. Well, I think Virginia is an amazing woman. In my life, I've looked for women to model my career after. And when I met Virginia, I just knew she was a woman I wanted to get to know better. And she's just a great advisor to the museum, and we're incredibly honored to have her helping us all these years. There's a definite fun side to Virginia. And she plays a mean game of golf. Some say it started as a joke, but during informal trustee golf tournaments, a trophy was awarded to the best woman golfer and um, Virginia happened to be the only woman who <laughs> golfed most of the time. And since she was the only one in the tournament, she would win it every year. I, I think that this is a, an extremely well-deserved award. In my mind, she's always been at this level. Virginia is one of the most influential uh, people I have ever met in my life. Virginia has received several honors, including WSU's Alumni Achievement Award and the Foundation's Outstanding Service Award. And I think um, her work reflects what type of person she is, and she's just a legend. Please join the Washington State University Foundation in congratulating the 2014 Weldon B. Gibson Distinguished Volunteer, Virginia Schaefer.